I'm going to be reading some words excerpted from Bayuranda from a piece titled Temples of the Living God, originally brought forth on September 29th, 1946. As we ascend the mountain, the winding road leads upward through the pines, close dotted with quaking aspens, which have changed their dresses of summer greens to autumn's gold, beholding the lavish beauty which nature has bestowed on every hand. One thinks of God and feels that surely, truly, these are the temples of the living God. Each pine tree, straight and tall, pointing surely towards the heavens, reaches upward that all who will may know the joy of the ascending spirit that refuses to remain earthbound. Each gentle aspen tree shimmering in the breeze speaks of the gentleness of God and surely here on every hand one finds the temples of the living God. In the valleys and the mountainside, beside the stream or along the rock-strewn trail, each step we take unfolds new beauty and tells anew the story of the temples of the living God. The creatures of the wild, the birds flitting through the trees, the rippling rill from melting snows, the shrubs that grow on the rocky wall, all tell the story of the temples of the living God. The barren rocky peaks reaching high above timberline are mute evidence that there is a power greater than all the powers of man. Drawing near, one truly feels the spirit of the mountain. And that spirit tells the story of the temples of the living God. And so, the restless spirit feels the calm. And the flitting mind is stilled. The quietness and peacefulness of majestic mountains begin to fill the heart of man. And there comes a certainty that here are the temples of the living God. And as nature springs forth to greet man and provide the necessities of his comfort, so should man spring forth to greet the living God and provide for the necessities of his comfort on earth. The long lost temples of the living God have now been found and being repaired and renewed unto him, his glory begins to fill the temple and shine round about until the pleasures of the living God shall be known on all the earth. And the joy of being shall vibrate in every living thing. Behold, 
the temples of the living God.